Hey YouTube, it's me Leo back again with another video. In this video I'm filming this on my Pixel 7 Pro um, because I want to have a chat about my camera actually, my camera setup here. So we're going to go through how much it costs, kind of give my opinion on it um, because I think this is probably one of the best kind of budget YouTube setups that you can you can probably buy at the moment or create. So I'm just going to kind of go through it, give my pros and cons and um, hopefully this will be useful. If you're looking to buy maybe a camera or like a, a whole YouTube rig, here's the camera that I use for filming uh, YouTube videos. I've used it on the last few videos. I also kind of use a bit of a, so I have a GoPro 9 here. Um, but this is the main main camera that I've been using. It is a Panasonic G80, or I think in America it's called the G85, and it's quite a compact uh, Panasonic camera. Um, it uses the micro four thirds kind of uh, sensor size and uh, mounting. So yeah, so I kind of, I believe this is probably one of the best beginner setups. I know there are some Sony cameras out there that are quite similar, um, but a lot of them are slightly, cost slightly more than this. Um, and I think this just kind of offers a good package for the price. Yeah, so I'm quickly just gonna run through what I have on my setup, my lenses, and then I wanna go through how much I paid for it all. I've got a Rode Video Mic Pro, I think it's like the first gen one uh, on top, which is very good. And then I'm using a very small pancake lens. It's the, uh, what is it, the 12 millimeter to 33 millimeter in a silver, so I kind of extends. So this is my main kind of focal length lens, and I've also got a uh, was it a 100 to 300 millimeter zoom lens and you have to have a prime lens for kind of those depth of field shots that i got for this so these two lenses or these three lenses and this camera and microphone is kind of the, the whole setup so this this setup's good it's so uh, the camera itself i picked up for about 250 pounds used just the body lumex panasonic and that, this i think this came out in about 2017 so it's a few years old um, but that's probably why it's so cheap at the moment so i paid about 250 just for the body uh, 250 pounds just for the body itself and i think it's made out of some sort of metal alloy it's it's quite nice well built it has a flip out screen as you can see which is good for kind of seeing yourself get different angles quite a small camera um, i've upgraded from a panasonic t3i uh, which was the camera that I used before this. This is significantly smaller. This shoots 4K, 30 FPS, 1080p, 60. Um, so it's not got high frame rates, but it's good enough. It does shoot 4K. Um, it uses the micro four thirds kind of sensor size. So all the lenses you get with it tend to be quite small. So this, this one's a very tiny one, but even this prime lens, the 25 mil, um, quite small, a lot smaller than the Canon lenses that I had on my previous camera. One thing to note is the crop factor is, I think it's a two times crop factor. So this is a 25 mil, but it's essentially a 50 mil. So the camera was 250. I paid about 90 pounds for this lens. So a camera and a very versatile lens, 340 pounds. Um, you might even find it cheaper because I got this last year. Uh, and then the Rode microphone, I got this used for about 80 pounds. Um, yeah. I, I, not doing a review on the road, but it's just a very good kind of uh, shotgun mic. Yeah, so I don't really have any complaints about this system as it is. Uh, the batteries last long. I've got a couple of spares and I picked up like generic ones. They last, they're fine. If I did have a complaint, it'd probably be the, this, this lens doesn't have a focus ring, but I mean, it's got autofocus while you're recording. And that's where one of my complaints is the autofocus on this camera is quite slow compared to some of the Sony cameras. G80 camera, 12 to 30. I'd, if you can find one cheaper, I'd probably go 12 to 60. They do a 12 to 60 millimeter lens, a bit more versatile. And it also has manual focus on it, um, which can be useful. Um, and then this Rode video mic, just very convenient. Uh, it looks quite big on this camera just because this camera is quite small, but this was about 80 pounds used so yeah so if i tally up how much this camera setup costs i think this is about 420 pounds for this whole setup so that's a 4k camera lens microphones this will shoot youtube videos 
and it has been on my channel. So yeah, very happy with it. So hopefully that's been kind of informative. Um, I'm gonna try and post some, or well, you can go back on my channel and see uh, the last few videos I've filmed with this exact setup and they look all right. Hopefully you enjoy, be sure to subscribe. We're nearly at 300 subscribers and I'll see everyone in my next video.